Hello my crafty friends, I'm here, I am back, and I am sorry I've been gone for a while, but I am trying to get back to routine. Well, as you can see in the title, I am doing an unboxing, and it is for 7 Great. They have reached out to me and asked if I would try one of their products, and do a, a um, unboxing on my channel. And um, I say, why not? I like to try something different. I like to challenge myself. So, guys, let me tell you what it is. It is cross stitch. And I'm going to be honest with you, I have never tried cross stitch ever. But everybody says it is easy. Why not try it? I wanted to try something different here and there. So, why not try cross stitch? So guys, I will have in the link to 7 Great um, website so you guys can go over and check it out. If you want to try out Cross Stitch, try them out. They have awesome canvases to work from. They have, um, what do you call them, the painted ones that you can go by the, 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 the template on the canvas. And they have ones that you just look at the picture and you do it by counting. I'm not quite there, guys, but I will have a link in the description. Plus, guys, I will also have a 6% discount. And that will be 2Craft06 off. And I will have that in the description if you guys want to try it out yourself. And it is unlimited forever. Okay, guys, so let me share what I got what they sent me again I've never done this before so yes I decided to go easy I didn't want to go hard so this is just a, um, a cross stitch and it is a four, 14 count it is a 14 by 15 centimeters so let's open this up and it's got the directions in the back instructions okay and it tells you down here some of the this is the cross the, the whole stitch a half a stitch then you got a fourth of a stitch three fourths and you see it's got it all down there again the instructions and put that there and look how cute and this is the painted one this means it's painted on the canvas is that what you call it I know it's got a name on it but this is the fox okay and here is the color down here and here are the colors of your uh, thread it's got cute colors so it gives you plenty and here it has the numbers here and if you look here they they're not quite the same of the colors but if you look here it's got one one is this is one so you're going to be using this color blue is two this blue but it's the pink <laughs> excuse me and then you have the three is the yellow the three is the orange okay then here it's got four four is here it says green but four here is I'm sorry yeah this orange the lighter orange five is black and then here this one Six is this, I think it's coil. This, and then seven is white. And this is what it says here. Seven is white. So this is seven. This will be all white where the pink is. Six is the coral. So this color here, you find that's the tongue. This one, black five, that would be black all around here. Four will be this color so this orange will be all here 
okay three is yellow so you put that on these yellows two is pink so you put two is blue okay that's this one this one is the green and then this yellow is this burgundy so you will put yellow here you get the drift guys as long as you go by the code one one two two you will not lose and then you get two needles and that is the little fox isn't that cute and this is what it will look like this is oh see that's what it is pre-painted fabric and this is what you uh can go by and that's this one so let's look at the other one and then we have the unicorn and it's a pre-painted fabric I don't want to get them mixed up so I want to put this underneath so I don't get them mixed up put this here and then look at the unicorn inside it has here's the diagram nine and here it says it right here it's a lot better for you nine white eight is you see eight is the oh here nine white eight purple coral the dark this purple <laughs> black orange pink this purple and yellow that will show you exactly the numbers to use on this one and on here you see and then look at the difference here one will show the yellow will be this color sorry the yellow will be this color one will be here you will put the yellow two will be blue so the purple or this blue will be two the purple be inside here this is the yellow or this oh okay I'm so confused myself let me see if I can get this one is the purple that will be the yellow okay two is this blue that will be here but oh no this color blue where is this color blue okay that's it the blue in here you see the difference if you can see here it has the solid blue that looks like this and in the white face it has the circle you got to pay attention to this because I didn't recognize that until just now so this will be two and that would be purple three will be the green that'll be around the face you see the green three face four will be the orange that'll be up the four will be this color will be all up in here five is the orange here so five will be around the eyes here five will be the black you get the drift guys it's not complicated I hope you guys can get it it's very looks it looks pretty easy I just hope I get the stitching right. So that is the painted, the pre-painted fabric. Now this one is non-painted. This is the one you will have to do the count. And this is a bookmark. My granddaughter is into Harry Potter, so I thought, and she li she likes to read, so I decided to get a bookmark for her and that's what it looks like 
Okay, and then inside you have a pen, come on, okay, let's just open it up, there you go, you have your threads, okay, and here's the numbers one through nine nine colors okay you get a tassel you get a two uh, fabrics the canvas two needles and this one okay here it is again you will take this is a 14 uh, 14 count Okay, and then this is two strands to stitch. What that means is you take one of these, right? And you open these, like got six strands in it. You take, I have no nails, one and two. You pull it. I recommend pull them one at a time so you don't get it in a knot but you will need two of these so you need one and then the two and then you put them together you thread it with the needle and then you'll do the cross stitch I will come back in a video and try this out I'll try one of them out to to share my experience with it again I'm a non cross stitcher I've never done this before so guys if I can do it I hope I can do it you guys can do it so again that comes with the thread two of the bookmark uh, fabric crochet, uh, canvases the instructions and if you look it you the way you would count doesn't come with the instructions but it will tell you I guess you come here and go one two three four five six and then the black I guess you would try to find the center they recommend starting the center and you know work your way out so you would find the center here and then do like say this box in here start here or whatever again I'm not too sure about this one I need to do more research on that one but I will come back and do one of these on video and then they I have got this one I wanted to try it is a beaded crochet keychain so let's look at that one put this over here so here's the fabric. Okay, here is the canvas. Cute little stars. Here is the directions. Okay, and here is the keychain. Can I open this up? come with keychain and two needles no four four needles and a keychain the thread oh, thread and the beads so that and the filling so guys that is my unboxing and again guys this is seven great link will be in the description it is it has all different kind of crochet um patterns to beginners to advanced people who don't know what they're doing they have simple they have hard guys please go check their channel uh their website out and don't forget to use my uh six percent discount code it is 
two crap o six off and i will link that in the description so you guys can have it so guys please stay tuned future days in advance you know in the future i will come back and do a video on how to do one so with that being said guys thank you for watching until my next video bye